my name is Jeff Selenrick. I am a wedding photographer out of Baltimore, Maryland, and I am starting my YouTube channel. So this will be my first video. I apologize for the sound. Here to show you today is something really exciting, um, which is over here. It's in the mail today. I just got my new Holdfast Vegan Moneymaker. Uh, Holdfast is a company uh, mostly dedicated to leather straps. This is a new vegan one. I'm no vegan, but um, it's to me an exciting material uh, that doesn't have some of the drawbacks of the leather. I've been a Holdfast user for quite a while. I've actually had the one that bleeds ink onto your, um, onto your clothing. So the burgundy style moneymaker, which uh, I've been having trouble with because shirt after shirt of mine has actually been, um, you know, not quite ruined, but a little bit stained uh, from use of the moneymaker. And I shoot weddings. So this thing is huge for me to be able to uh, get the weight, you know, distributed correctly. Um, I'm not here to give you a review of the moneymaker itself today. I do want to talk a little bit about the material because I know this is this is brand new. Uh, Matt Swagger, the owner of Holdfast, he's a yeah, he's a genius. Um, the product he's created, and this is a brand new fabric. So I don't know how well you can see this thing here. Come on, focus. Anyways, I guess you got photos on his web page. You can see the fabric a little bit better. This is kind of like a vinyl. Um, you can see at the end, kind of a sandwich in there. It's got probably some fiber stuff in there to make it real tough. Um, I got no worries about this thing as far as being durable. Um, it seems to be able to hold up scratches and things like that as well. Um, I'm just really excited. Um, so I'm moving on from the leather, uh, mostly because of that standing issue. Uh, going with the blue. I think this is going to be fantastic with some, uh, you know, gray suit, blue tie type thing. So I'm really stoked. Now, here's the thing. For money makers, I've always modified mine. And Matt, if you're watching this, I apologize ahead of time, but I just, I, I want to change um, the actual sail clip system. So here's the sail clip that comes on the money maker. Um, it's found, you know, on sailboats. You can find this on some other things. But Matt has uh, developed his own. It's got the branding, and it's it's a pretty sweet system. You pull this, pull that. It comes loose. Here's your little screw goes on your camera. My main problem with this is actually noise. So when I'm walking down an aisle and there's a wedding, this sound is happening. So I've actually found a better system, um, and I'm here to show you that today. So that's what we're here to talk about. Um, the problem is this system requires a bit of modification. So if you look at the way this is constructed, kind of, oh man. <laughs> the EOSR, it keeps grabbing my eyeball. There we are. All right, so you'll see those rivets. There are four on this model. Now this, this is the slider. I've already detached it. And this is constructed a little bit different than the leather ones. So this has a simple just sandwich design, rivet, 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 rivet. And what we need to do is remove two of these rivets in order to remove this system. And what we're gonna replace it with is my favorite thing about this. So this is the whole reason I'm even doing this. And this is a QD system by there we go. This is called the QD clip. This is made by Really Right Stuff. Now all Really Right Stuff has done is taken a system developed by the military for rifle stri uh, straps, excuse me, rifle straps, um, to be able to clip a, a strap onto a rifle. Of course, a deadly weapon, you don't want that dropping to the ground. So I 100% trust the system. And it's got these little ball bearing to stick out the side and those will expand inside of a hole on the bottom of the really right stuff L plate. So this is my 5D4. Now I'm really showing that. And basically you put it in there. Clip. Okay. And this is a system I trust 100%. I've been using this system for a while on my leather moneymaker. 
which required a similar modification as what we're going to do today, um, which basically involves removing rivets. And so what you're going to need, now if you're a fan of heart, this is a brand new, you know, moneymaker strap. It's a $200 product, and I am about to make it unreturnable. Matt Swaggart, owner of Holdfast, if you're watching this, I apologize ahead of time. So, this will get exciting. Here we go. What we're going to need is a drill. We're going to remove some rivets with the drill. And you will also need some of these. And this is called Chicago screws. So basically we're going to replace the rivets with screws. We're then going to insert this part right here. And this part is the actual connector. And this is made by a company called Magpul. Magpul is a firearms accessories company, I guess. Um, so again, I trust this stuff. I trust it because they develop it for a very specific purpose, which cannot fail. And let me operate this for you to show you how cool it is. So this thing will open like that. You see that? It requires a lot of force that I'm putting on it right there. And then if you see the little button here, push that through, it pops up the other side, and now it is locked 100%. So this is going to clip to here, okay, and this will clip to here, okay, and we have a 100% safe system. Now one thing I love about this is it really eliminates the need or the worry uh, for a shackle, or uh, not shackle, this is the shackle, it eliminates the worry for a safety lanyard, okay, that's this thing here, and this thing is a good idea okay when you're using this sail clip you're gonna want to kind of have a safety strap just in case this thing comes undone or a little screw comes unscrewed or anything like that um, this system I'm not worried about and so let me show you how this works okay so here's what we're gonna be doing um, to remove a rivet from leather or in this case some kind of you know, similar to leather substance, um, we're gonna have to be really careful. We do not want to mar the surface. You know, the beautiful surface looks perfect right now. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna drill into the top of that little cap. And if we drill just a bit in there, it's actually gonna release the rivet and we should be good to go. Now the problem is gonna be is if this starts spinning, if this starts spinning, uh, we're gonna have to take some different measures, but for starters, I'm gonna just kind of hope that it won't spin And we will see what happens here Do this to protect the table And we only need to remove these two rivets right here. So let's see how this works I'm Trying to get this Focus for you guys. Oh yeah, this keeps jumping around. Real light. Okay, so far so good. Really wish this was focusing better for you guys here. Okay, I can tell I have a little bit way, a little ways to go. I'm gonna fold that over because I'm I'm afraid of those little little scraps are going to actually scar the bottom. So we're gonna go a little further here. Woo! -hoo! Okay, 
Okay, here we are. And there you have it. Let's do the other one. Brand new Hold Fast Money Maker. I'm sure some of you out there are just cringing right now. Doesn't seem to be spinning, which is very good. I didn't think it would because it looks it looks like it's mounted really tight. So I hope it's not spinning. That's so beautiful. Okay, so that was easy. So again, all you gotta do is just drill down into the side with the hole. Be real slow with that drill because you do not want this part to start spinning. If it starts spinning, you're gonna have to secure this end for some, or you know, somehow. Um, that happened to me with the leather ones. I think this uh, vegan material just grips it so nicely. So, basic story is now, all we gotta do is reattach different hardware and again, we're gonna use something called a Chicago screw. So let me get that set up here. Okay, so, use the silver. Now, I bought these from, from Amazon did a bit of a deep dive into like the Leathercraft world as far as quality of these things. As far as I understand it, you're going to want one that's stainless steel. And buy these from a reputable source if you can. Um, I bought mine from Amazon, of course. Um, they're fine so far. But uh, the post size... Let me get that there. The post size is 6 millimeters. So that's actually the height of this you know, depth here. And I hope this one works with the new material. So basically I bought these for the old system. I think it looks fine. I'm gonna see if the hole is right size here. So, it's not quite looking like it's wide enough. Okay, so, got a leather punch here. We are going to figure out which size we need. Which may be a bit of a job. Here we go. Basically, once you lock that down, you know, again, as this is not leather, I'm kind of wondering 
how this material behaves. I know it has a fiber substance inside, so maybe that's something I'm going to have trouble with here. So I like to kind of work it in to make sure that it has actually gone all the way through, and we got metal on metal underneath, which means we've gone all the way through. Sort of. Just a bit more fabric there. Okay. Come on, have it. Let's give that a shot. Okay, we're gonna go one size bigger. Okay, that seemed pretty easy. My hole's a little bit bigger, and I think I'm just gonna have to try and make it in. There we are. Beautiful. Okay, so. Sticks out a little more in the rivets. Uh, we've got maybe not enough extension there to get the other side in, and really my thought on that is it will get compressed so I'm pretty sure by the time we put the screw in the other side, it will actually um, go all the way down. So now we're going to clip the other four, the other three. Okay, so at this point, we're just gonna kind of test run screwing these together. Uh, this is called a Chicago screw, once again. So now we're switching to from rivet to a system where we can remove this thing with a screwdriver. Which is a pretty exciting thing because you can not only switch the system I like, which is the QD, but you can also switch it back. So really, this, there's really no disadvantage to trying this other than maybe some people don't want to modify their product, which I totally understand.
Okay, we have enlarged all the holes and we are ready to add the screws and put this whole thing together. And before we do that, it's important to take note that on this system, so again, this, I don't know if I told you the part of this, this is called a Magpul Paraclip. So made by Magpul, look up the word Paraclip and you'll be able to buy this for like 12 bucks. This piece is made by Really Right Stuff, it's also 12 bucks. Um, so the thing you want to pay attention to, um, this thing's made of a combination of polycarbonate and steel. This piece right here is steel. This backside is polycarbonate. And again, I have no problems trusting this thing because it's made to hold an M16. But I want to show you something, which is the fact that when you clip this in, it's nice that part of that is polycarbonate because it's going to brush that way. Okay, so in other words, this should be the orientation of your strap, which means when you're wearing your strap around, it should go on like this. So rivet, or sorry, the, the clean side of these Chicago screws should be the same side as the polycarbonate. So something to pay attention to, because if you reverse that, okay, then when you're out and about, this part's gonna rub, and that's made of steel once again. That'll probably damage your L clip or L bracket. So once again, polycarbonate side. The reason I say is this is basically faces front when you wear the whole fast. Okay, so we're gonna clip it up like that. Gonna get those two kind of sandwich in there. The key to these is they actually, you know, get. Once you get screwed down, it's gonna compress the whole thing. But until that happens, it may feel like you don't have enough height on that post. It's easy to misthread these things. You can kind of feel it as you go. And then I'm just holding the back side of the post. It's really going way down. It's compressing quite a bit. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, and the nice thing is these are not going anywhere. Um, I actually do check the screws time and again, usually especially before every wedding. But you really got no worries. Chicago screws. Um, they use these on uh, tack for horses. This course developed a long time ago for leather goods, so. Okay, no problems trusting this thing. And when it's all done, we're going to have basically a cleaner system with less noise. And in my mind, um, just a little more worry-free because I'm not worried about the thing coming loose. Okay, so as you can see, we have successfully screwed that down. Now one thing I'm noticing in this material, again this is the vegan leather, 
it seems to be compressing even more than maybe I want it to. So I actually stopped screwing it down. These things are kind of countersetting at this point, sinking in. And I think you can see that with the way the rivets behaved as well. So the fabric's taking, it's like sinking in a bit. So I'm just gonna stop where I am. Now one thing you can do if you are worried about the Chicago screws is you can actually put some Loctite into the threads and that'll make it very difficult to remove later. But um, you know, if you're worried about your $5,000 worth of camera that's hanging off each of these, then it's definitely a possibility. Okay, so now the exciting part here. Let's get this thing back here. It connects in there. There we have it. So once again, polycarbonate side is the side that's gonna rub. That is not going anywhere. I'm sure you lock it. One thing I've been meaning to do is actually get a little bit of, um, you know, red fingernail polish and actually put red, I guess, on this side. So I paint that in red. So if I see red, it means it's unlocked. Clip it closed, no red. So I'll be doing that soon. Anyways, that's the system. That's the new money maker connection. And there's really a lot less noise there. And most importantly, no need for a safety strap. And it is in and out. This is so quick. Leaves your camera completely clean. Bottom's clean. Thank you to really right stuff. Okay, so in conclusion, here's, here's the new system. It is awesome. So this is how it moves on your camera. As you can, I don't know if you can pick up any sound at all, there's very little sound. Uh, once you put some weight on this, there's really no rattle, um, very little. I've actually got a, uh, you might have heard this thing flapping around, but this is so solid. Also, again, on this L bracket, there's a few places to put it down. Um, and these L brackets are all different from really right stuff. I think Kirk L brackets are also using the QD system right now. Uh, Pro Media Gear is using QD, although theirs is proprietary, so you're gonna have to use their own um, swivel piece. But Kirk and really right stuff are using standard QD clips uh, used with you know, all the military systems out there. So uh, you can really find whatever piece you want on this end. Um, it's really beautiful. Now, one thing to know is that not every camera has a L bracket made with these holes. Basically anything older than the 5D4 uh, with really right stuff is not gonna have these holes in it. Um, they do have some kind of workarounds, little pieces you can clamp. It's like a clamp and then it has the hole. So you can always do that, but, um, but I've been using this system over a year. Uh, it's just so nice, and now I've got it on my new Vegan Money Maker. It's beautiful blue, so I'm excited to get out there again and uh, rock this thing. I'll probably end up buying another leather one eventually too, and also do the same mod. So, okay. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, again, this is my first YouTube video, so you can subscribe. Again, I'm out of Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, drop a comments below, hit a like, and uh, thanks for watching.